Hey guys, guess what? It's almost Christmas. It's the 8th of November, so I'm going to give you my new Christmas intro. Let me know what you think of it. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you guys liked it. I don't know if that's how I'm going to keep it. I might change it. Let me know if you liked it. I can't wait for Christmas. It's going to be so good. Hopefully. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of my new setup thing. Got like kind of like a blurred background, which I kind of like. So, yeah. It's not really good, but I just thought I would try it for today. And yeah, so let's get into the video. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A, guys. And I was meant to do this quite a while ago, but I kind of forgot about it until now. So I'm just going to do it now. So I don't really have that many questions, but we're just going to get straight into it. So the first question is, what's your favourite dance style? I don't have a favourite dance style because I love all styles like i do every style and i like all them so i don't really have a favorite i like all of them all of them are my favorite that's my answer <laughs> okay now moving on to the next question favorite color pink favorite animal zebra fave clothing style hmm. dance clothes no that can't be an answer i guess just comfy t-shirts i don't really have a style i literally just wear t-shirts and stuff so my favorite brands like dance brands or like normal brands capizio is really nice yeah okay next question <laughs> people who inspire me uh Favourite place I've travelled to? Well, I've only really travelled to Japan when I was like a little, little baby. And then I went to France. I can't remember me going to Japan, so I think I'm going to have to say France. Yeah, I think France, because I went to Disneyland Paris and that was so fun. Any piercings? Yes, I have my first ear. First, you know when you get firsts and then you get seconds? I didn't get seconds, but I have... But yeah, I don't have the seconds. I only have firsts, but I never use them because I don't really wear earrings. But I have my ears pissed. So yeah, next question. What inspired you to do dance for a career? What inspired me? Uh, I don't know. I just did it and never stopped doing it. Nothing really inspired me to do it. I just wanted to do it because I loved it and it was the only thing i wanted to do yeah <laughs> what age did you start dancing well i started dancing like you know when you like start dancing when you're like really little but then i like quit and then because i think my dance school actually like shut down or something i think it was just like shutting down or something so i couldn't do that and then i went to gymnastics and then I did gymnastics and then I also did dance at my gymnastics and then the gymnastics closed, shut down and turned into a trampoline park. Then I went back to dance. But I didn't actually ask the question what age should I start dancing? Well, I guess I started when I was like really young, like I said, and then I quit, did gymnastics. Then I went back to dance at probably about 10. I don't know, I might be way off, but I, I can't remember. <laughs> but I properly, but like I properly started dancing about four years ago. Or maybe about six years ago, I went to a new dance school, which was really bad. And then I quit that, <laughs> I left that. And then I went to my new, my new dance school that is now my old dance school, the one that I've just left from. And that was like four years ago. So, I don't know, it's very confusing. I started, then I quit, then I went to gymnastics and I started again, so I don't really know what I just started, really. But anyway, next question. 
three things you love about dance. It is fun, it's amazing, and oh, I was going to say I'm good at it, but I'm not really, but I'm alright, and I love it. I don't know whether to say that I'm good, because I don't think I am, but then again, maybe I should be more confident. Yes, I'm confident. I'm good at dance. I am. There are loads of things I need to work on, but I do think I'm all right. So I think that's okay. I think that's okay for me to say. Yeah. So do I say three things? It's fun. I love it. And I'm kind of good at it. Three things I hate. Three things I hate about dance. Nothing. I really like it. I don't, I can't think of anything that I hate about it. So yeah, that was that question. Favourite dance style? I've already said that. Uh, like I said, I don't know. I don't like all of them. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Wow. Wow. That's actually something I should think about. Well, what do I see myself? Dancing, obviously. As long as I'm dancing and having fun, that's all that matters to me. But I don't know, maybe... Anything could happen. 10 years is quite a long time. Anything could happen. I could be, oh, I really want to go to, I really want to go to America because I've never been to America and I was meant to go to America in New York, but it got canceled. But hopefully I get to go. So maybe in 10 years I'll be in America. Maybe I'll be living in London. Or, because that's something I really want to do. I want to either live in London or somewhere in America. So hopefully that happens. I just need to, you know, get a job, get really rich and famous. <laughs> and then it might happen. So yeah, that's where I see myself in 10 years. It's okay to have big goals, right? <laughs> um, realistically, where do I see myself? Just dance i don't think i'm ever gonna give up even if i don't get like a job or anything i still think i'll be dancing i don't think i'll ever stop i really don't think i will i really don't see myself just quitting i really don't i really just don't think i will so i know i won't i just know it i know it so where do i see myself in 10 years dancing somewhere anywhere anywhere or performing or whatever i'll never stop favorite animal favorite color i've already answered that that is zebra and a pink pink zebras what got you into dance like i said started when i was quite young i don't know what got me in uh i guess i just started i can't really remember because i was young can't remember back then but i don't know what got me into it just started and then never stopped so yeah how many pairs of point shoes do you have oh my god my bag leaked on like my first week at bird and completely ruined my point shoes and then another pair of my point shoes i got blood on them because my blister don't i'm not even gonna say because it's disgusting but then we tried to wash it out and then it just stained and then I had one, my first pair, and then I probably got another one. So I'm going to say about maybe four or five, but then I have like five other pairs of soft point shoes. And I think I'm going to say I probably have about six point shoes. That's quite a lot when they're about 50, 60 pounds each. That's quite a lot, isn't it? But anyway, it's not really compared to like some other people probably have about 50 but yeah okay oh like i said i was meant to do this q a like ages ago and then i kind of forgot about it so i was meant to do this ages ago like before i went to bird someone asked what are you most excited for at bird and i was all oh, right should i try and answer this as if like i was back in time what i was most excited for I was most excited to go and meet new people 
and just dance again because we hadn't been dancing for ages that's what i was most excited for before i started but then i got there and it was very different but it's still amazing it still is i am in no way trying to say that it is not good because it really is i really 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 love it but it's just it's mostly on zoom and we don't really have that much zoom <laughs> so that says something but anyway so but it's fine it's fine there's not much we can do about it is there but i was just expecting it to be all normal and to go and like meet like everyone but instead i only know about 10 people so i just can't wait until it goes back to normal so i can just meet more people because i literally know like no one and it's just like you know i just really want to like go meet like everyone that is in my year like don't get me wrong those 11 people that are in my bubble are like amazing they're all so nice and they're all so good and everything i really like it it's actually 10 people because it's 11 including me it's fine hopefully we'll be able to do it next year for now i guess i'll answer so now that i've been there for i don't know how many any weeks is it maybe eight weeks now i don't know yeah i think what is the most exciting thing is actually going in <laughs> going in and actually doing face-to-face -face lessons that is the most exciting thing when you just walk into the studio and then it's just yeah it's just really fun like being in an actual dance studio and doing your lessons not in the kitchen and breaking the kitchen yes i know i broke my granddad's kitchen <sighs> It has been really fun so far and I really like it. Next question. Why did Mystery hate you? Mystery hated me? Did he? Did he? That's not good. For you guys that don't know, Mystery was my old ballet teacher. I think, I don't think he hated me. He just kind of got like that sometimes with everyone, but I think he got it with me maybe one more time than everyone else. But anyway, he really hates it when you like talk in his lessons. Yeah, I talked in his lesson. I didn't mean to. It was my fault. I shouldn't have been talking should have been dancing then also another time i didn't say yes i didn't answer it like i just nodded my head i didn't say it do you know what i mean and you have to be like verbal so it's fine it was a learning curve i've learnt that now and now i know not to do it again so it's fine okay i think we're almost done like we only have about two questions left so yeah how did I get so flexible? I'm not that flexible, okay? People say that I'm flexible, but I'm not really that flexible compared to like some other people, you know? I have got my needle. I guess that's what, I guess that's what makes me, makes everyone think that I'm so flexible, which, yeah, and I don't really know how, I mean, I don't think I was naturally flexible, but I think I just kind of got it. I don't really remember how. I think it just, I think it just happens one day and then you're like, oh. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, I can do this now. Oh, cool. And then one other day you're like, oh, I can do this. And then slowly you just get more and more stuff and then you get more flexible because you get one thing so like say you get a leg hold then you can do a tilt then you can do a needle then you can do a backbend then you can like and then you slowly get more 
more like harder things and then I guess that that's what makes you look more flexible and I guess that's what happened to me I guess it's just because I've kind of done it for a while and be like yeah so I think that's why okay one more question and then we're watching the video so what is my favorite movie the great shame of course and I also really like Aladdin the new one like the live action one yeah, I'm actually going to watch it in a minute, I think, or maybe tonight or something, because I really haven't watched it in ages. Great Shaman and Aladdin. And I want to say, when people ask me what my favourite musical is, I really want to say The Great Shaman, but then at the same time, I don't think it really counts, because it's a movie musical, it's not a stage musical. So I, uh, I always say Mean Girls, because Mean Girls is like the only musical that I've really watched, apart from like Aladdin and Lion King when I was about 10 but I don't like I watched Mean Girls on YouTube with my friend Megan and she made me watch it and then she got me so yeah she made me watch it and now I really like it so yeah I really want to go see some because I haven't really seen much like I said I only seen Aladdin and The Lion King when I was like quite young so i really want to go see some when they open again so yeah okay now we have a video to listen to from kira she sent me in a video let's listen to it what's your favorite disney movie what's your favorite Di oh what's let's do one question at a time what's my favorite disney movie did she say i really don't know there's so many I'll just say Aladdin. What's your favourite Disney character? Aladdin. And what's your least favourite Disney character and least favourite Disney movie? Mulan and Mulan. I feel like that's just like the worst one. But I don't know. I just, I never really, I don't know. I can't even remember it. Isn't that the one where like she chops her hair with the big sword or something? It's not like Aladdin, like I love Aladdin and i would go to watch aladdin but i didn't think i would ever choose to watch milan i don't know I, f I feel like there's a live action one coming out so maybe i'll watch that one but i think i don't i wouldn't say least favorite i would just say like least likely to watch okay yeah hey guys that is it that is all the questions answered that's all the questions that i got asked by i got asked a question by got asked questions by coco megan angel icy the winner and rasheen and evie so shout out to you guys thanks for sending me those questions really appreciate it sorry it's a bit late but you got it now so please let me know if you enjoyed this video and i really hope you did and if you did please give a big thumbs up to let me know and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I would love to see you in my next video. And yeah, so have a good day, evening, night, whatever time you're watching this. And yeah, so see you in my next video.